The new Huawei Mate 9 is a very interesting smartphone from Huawei, of course. It is a 5.9 inch device and it is a really solid build uh, all across. Feels like a unibody build, really nice, really sturdy. Now, as you can see, as we line all the way up, you do have a SIM tray on the side, which also doubles as a micro SD uh, tray itself. Now, what makes this device interesting altogether? So let's start off with some of the specs. You've got USB Type-C charging with the dash charging, which is really fast, probably one of the fastest in the market. You've got speaker grills below. Now the top is your headphone jack. I am glad they still kept that uh, there. And also there's a microphone port. Now let's look at the back here. You've got a fast fingerprint sensor, a really fast fingerprint sensor. And then you've got that, there's two Leica camera sensors. One's a 20 megapixel uh, monochrome, the other is a 12 megapixel RGB F2.2. And they take some really nice photo, uh, uh, laser focus, autofocus, all that stuff built into it and OIS. And we'll take a look at the images later on in this video. Now, the display is a 1080p display, which is kind of a bummer. It's a 5.9 inch 1080p display, so uh, you'd be bummed out, but it actually still looks really good. So even though I wanted something uh, that would house, of course, a uh, QHD display, the 1080p display is nice. Now on the top, you do have an eight megapixel front-facing camera, F.9 stop. Now, looking at this device overall, it's well built. You've got a 4,000 milliamp battery housed in there. And you've got, of course, the Kirin 960 processor. And we'll talk more about all these different aspects in a second. But this is a really solid device that I think a lot of people will definitely like to pick up and use. Now, it's running uh, the EMUI 5.0, really fast and smooth, of course, powered uh, by Android 7.0 underneath, and of course, using the Kirin 960. Some of the cool features that EMUI brings is when you're making a phone call, you can easily open up a notepad uh, to just write down information, or also you can actually go ahead and hit the speaker button, not the dial pad, but the speak button. And that brings up this uh, uh, omnidirectional and uh, dual directional microphone setup. So uh, giving you better uh, speaker call quality. Again, nice little features and touches there uh, from EMUI uh, with the uh, Mate 9. Now, of course, the top, you've got, of course, your notification bar with all the different aspects you can navigate through. Uh, but in terms of speed and performance, this thing handles really, really well. So I think a lot of people like it. Uh, now, when it comes to, of course, what you're running in here, you're running, of course, a optical processor, the Kirin 960, blazing fast with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage internally. So how does this work with uh, battery life? You've got a 4,000 milliamp battery, and you can see here in the battery settings, there are a lot of options. It says here, power saving mode, you can get 56 hours. I get 189 hours in ultra uh, power saving mode. I have to tell you with the battery in there, I get literally two days two days of use with this device. And that fast charging with the dash charging there is really fast to fill up the 4,000 milliamp battery. I would say it takes, it's faster than the Galaxy S7. So with 4,000 milliamp battery and the Kirin 960, how well is gaming on this device? Well, I have to say that the, the uh, Huawei Mate 9 uh, does a fantastic job in gaming. Uh, now, there's certain games that just don't work too well with it, maybe because it's just not optimized for the Kirin 960. But the 960 is a solid processor, uh, and my gaming experience had been really good all the way through. A game here called Eerie, uh, it just handled it quite well. Now, uh, it didn't overheat while gaming, and also uh, didn't feel like I was draining my battery. So again, you've got a big battery and also a really solid processor. But now let's take a listen to audio. Now, the, the device has uh, two speakers, one on the bottom and one on the top. So let's take a listen through gameplay here and see how well the speakers actually sound. So the speakers do a good job in reproducing sound. I have to say also the headphone jack, the DAC in there actually does a decent job. So you're getting a combined good audio experience. But uh, the other thing also that's really major on this device is the camera. We've got a 20 and a 12 megapixel camera. We have a pro mode and I love the pro mode in this because you can really set things in pro mode, leave the settings there and go back and take lots of photos. Different modes on this device, you've got monochrome, you've got HDR, 
beauty modes so you've got a plethora of modes but the monochrome i really do like you can take photos uh in in monochrome or black and white and it really does a fantastic job in giving you something that uh looks really good and sharp so you can see it quite clearly here and you see some we'll talk about some of the photos that we actually took uh with this in this mode um the thing about this camera is that you're going to get some really nice photos, especially in daylight, especially with the different modes. Nighttime might be a little bit made of a mixed bag, but we'll show you in a second. The ability to switch to the front facing camera, the ability to also go into the settings and save things in raw files. So you got the, the resolution 20, the resolution changes with each of the camera skills is really interesting and funny uh, but you've got enough settings there to actually play around with but let's take a look at images from this device so our first shot here is of the zoom h4n you can see a lot of detail even in monochrome here as compared to the regular shot and that's kind of the distinction here when you have one camera 20 megapixels one is 12 um and i think that's just something you see so this is a shot here with the light on monochrome. You can see uh, this nice detail across the board. Here's another shot here just of, of the uh, monitor screen. You can only see basically, the, uh, of course, the wallpaper, which is nice. So the camera does a really good job in monochrome. I love taking monochrome shots. This is a nighttime shot here in monochrome with this camera. And I think that's where it excels the best. Uh, this is a low light shot. And it does a good job too in low light, but it depends on the situation and how much back lighting you have in low light situations this is a shot here i really like here showcasing of course my icon x the uh, galaxy s7 edge uh in monochrome compared to the shot here in of course color and i think the monochrome shot just looks much better that's just my own opinion here now low light overall um is nice it does pick out a lot of detail it is grainier as you can see you can tell but you can see you still see a lot of detail in low light situations there's this lighting across the board this one of superman here is is quite grainy but still visible daylight shots are also really good on this camera uh as i said depending on the lighting situation you will get some really nice crisp clear shots so you can see the cans of uh of of uh coca-cola and sprite really clear vivid and bright the, the reds pop out well the greens kind of match what you'd expect now front facing camera this is with beauty mode on uh, I actually prefer it with beauty mode off. I don't know why people use beauty mode in general, but I think it does a good job with the front facing camera. Overall, this is a good camera. It's not the greatest. There's some things it does really well, especially in monochrome sh shots. And there's some things it doesn't do as well uh, when it comes to some of the low light situations. So far with my use cases with the Huawei Mate 9, I've been impressed with this device. I think it's handled a lot of things well. Performance with the battery, it's really fast fingerprint sensor which I actually didn't mention I'm just showing to you right now and also the fact that this has got a really good camera and a solid performance overall my one gripe is the fact that they went with a 1080p display instead of QHD display I think for the price point on what they're offering here that should have also been included maybe some more lifestyle features but I think if you pick up the Mate 9 you will definitely like this device yes it's a little bit pricey but in terms of performance what you're getting to almost two day battery life, solid performance all the way through. I think you definitely enjoy it. So if you have any comments or any questions, let us know, we'll try and answer them for you. Don't forget guys, we also have a massive giveaway where we're giving away four PS4 Pros as well as four SteelSeries Access 3 uh, gaming headsets. So use the links down below to do that. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.